Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dougie. I'm back after about a three week hiatus. I've been traveling a little bit, visiting with the kids. Uh, we're going to do two recipes for you today, both Lebanese. We're going to do a white garlic sauce, also called tome. And we're going to do a chicken for the kebabs with a uh, Lebanese marinade made with uh, some yogurt and some spices. It's going to be fantastic. So these are the ingredients we're going to need for our garlic sauce. I've got one cup of garlic. I've got about a quarter cup of ice water. We're going to use two teaspoons of nice salt. I've got the juice for two lemons and three cups of vegetable oil. The specific on the vegetable oil, do not use olive oil. It just doesn't have the, the right profile that we're looking for in this. So this will take about 10 to 15 minutes to make this sauce, but you can make it ahead and it keeps in your fridge for a good week. And we're going to start with that, but we're going to be scraping down a lot because we really want to dissolve this garlic. So I won't be talking, I'll just be working. Here we go. One cup. Oh, we'll put the salt in as well. Two teaspoons. So this is a tablespoon. We'll go two-thirds of that. I will be juicing the lemons while this is pureeing and going from there. We're going to scrape it down. And we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Maybe two tablespoons, okay? Just to keep it wet and moving. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate lemon juice with oil slowly so it gets time to emulsify. Slowly. Now I have a little tiny hole on this so it's not gonna shoot back up on me. Scrape, scrape, scrape. This sauce is so good for chicken, vegetables as a dip, and it's so easy. Just be patient with your emulsification. We're getting emulsified. It's almost like a mayonnaise, but without the egg. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, I started with three cups of oil. Now we're down, I've only used a little over a cup. So we still got some to go, but we'll see how our emulsification works. Maybe I don't have to use that much oil. It's up to, up to us. We'll see how the result comes out. It's looking marvelous. Okay, let's take a look at this consistency right now. I've still got a, less than a cup of oil to go. You see this? Almost there. I think we're done. It squirted on my glasses, but hey, anything for the show. All right, let's take a looky see. Oh my. This is gorgeous. Absolutely delicious. So I'm going to transfer this 
put it in the refrigerator, and then we're going to skewer some chicken that I already showed you the marinade. Okay, welcome back. We're going to make our Lebanese grilled chicken marinade recipe right now, and we're going to put it all together. I've got two cups of whole yogurt, not the Greek yogurt, regular yogurt, and we're going to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We've got three teaspoons of paprika. We've got one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. No, no, cumin, excuse me. One and a half teaspoons. A little cumin goes a long way. One and a half. Okay, so now we've got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, we've got two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. Okay, we need the zest of one lemon and then the juice from that. So this is my little, my best little zester to knock this out rather quickly. And we only want the zest, we do not want the pith. The white part is the pith. Now we're gonna add the juice. And I've got 10 cloves of garlic that I have minced up. I'm gonna pop that in there. Let's give this thing a mix. Doesn't that look interesting? So I've got about three pounds of chicken thighs that I have, they're boneless, skinless, and I trim most of the fat off of them. And then I cut them into these pieces here so that we have more area that's covered with the marinade which will make it extra special when it goes on the grill. And we're gonna marinate this overnight. So it'll have time to really get all the flavors going. And then we'll put them on a skewer tomorrow with nothing but red onions. Stack it up, make it very simple. This is enough marinade, could have handled another pound or so of chicken, but that's fine. So I'm gonna cover this with plastic and we'll put it in the fridge overnight and tomorrow we will pick it up again, but we'll be eating tomorrow. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to show you the yield that we've got on our white garlic sauce, our Lebanese garlic sauce. Got two nice pints here. I mean, love, love, love. You could give one as a gift and you'd be the king, but we're gonna, stash these things and assemble our skewers. Okay, for our skewers today, we have our chicken that's been marinating for a day in the refrigerator, and I'm just using one red onion. Very simple. So we're gonna cut this baby in half. We're gonna go thirds down here. And, then... and since I'm only using onion, we can put a, a liberal amount in there got some nice skewers that don't have wood on them so I can put them and close the barbecue and walk away if I want to. That option is there. And there we have it. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to build the rest of these and we'll throw them on the grill. Okay, so we're just going to keep these on the grill, get some color on them, cook them. I'll get them marked a little bit and I'm going to move them over and I'll just shut the lid down for a little bit. I've got some other kebabs that I'm going to supplement our meal with, but that's not part of our show. So. Just our beautiful marinated chicken with our yogurt and spices and red onion. Can't wait.
Okay, we got it ready to go. Let's pull one of these babies. And our Lebanese garlic sauce that goes with anything, vegetables, just some nice pita. Very flavorful, very moist, very, very good. This is not that tough to make. This is your toughest part, but I know you can do it. Guys, give it a try. Make it for the ones that you love, and I will see you next week. Peace out.